your life differently. Your life Listening, can you say hi? Hi. And show daddy how big you are. Can you sing? So, so big. big. Good. And can you sing? Very happy. Good singing. How about I miss you? I miss you. And I love you. I love you, daddy. And <laughs> good. And can you say, I can't wait to see you again? UNSC Pelican Echo 216. Can you hear me? This is UNS. Looks like the main power cells are fried. Auto shut down. Triggering survival mode. I'm going to try to overwrite. Okay. If you can hear me in there, I hope you're ready. Please don't die. Please. what little power I had into your suit. I'm seeing a fault on the calibration matrix. At least I think it's a calibration matrix. Okay, follow the light. Look up. Now let's look down. 
That seems fine. Let's try right. And now left. Your visor feed and motor function seem to be operational. But it looks like there's a problem with the servos in your hands. Try moving it. Stay calm. You've been out there a while. I know I saw something in you to check the diagnostics on your armor. Whoa, 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 whoa. Easy there, big guy. You're not... Status report. Status report? What? There's something you need to see, Chief. We lost. Lost everything. There's nothing left for us here. I don't think poor here is. No, 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 not then, not again. We need to run. I need a weapon. Weapon? This is all I've got. It's enough. Wait, what? What are you gonna do? Improvise. Close the door. Welcome everybody to the first video of my Halo Infinite Legendary Walter Guide. Today we'll be doing Warship Jabraken, and we're going to start by taking out that Grunt as well as picking up the uh, Psychic that is sitting in that crate. Then we're going to grapple up to the upper deck here. We're going to eventually get there. And then there are going to be three Grunts that you're going to be killing before you move on. Two of them will be rushing out of the door. The first one, as you saw, was just sitting there waiting for you. Now inside of this room, there are four Grunts initially in here, then two more charge out of this door. We're going to try to take them out, and then we're going to pick up a Mauler before we move on to deal with the Berserker Brute. Now, the Berserker Brute isn't actually that difficult to take down. It's That's why we picked up the Mauler. The Mauler is a two-shot headshot if you land consecutive headshots on the on the Brute, on the Berserker Brute. But if you like land just one headshot and then like a few other shots, it usually takes down the Berserker Brute in three. So we got that headshot initially, and then we got the third, uh, the, our third shot was the one that got the uh, the kill shot. So as I said, usually three to four shots kills a Berserker Brute. Now move, before moving on, we picked up a Needler, got some more ammo. We're gonna grapple this Fusion Coil, toss it at these Grunts, trying to kill this last Grunt right here. And then there's gonna be another Grunt coming around this bend here, around this turn. Once we take him out, in this next room, there's going to be three Brutes. That's why we took the Needler, because we're going to be utilizing the Needler to take out the rest of the Brutes in this room after that Fusion Coil killed the initial Brute. Now, going to be utilizing the Psychic here to try to finish off this last Brute. Now, once we go out to this area here, 
there's going to be four jackals on the very far side. We're going to be picking up this fusion coil to deal with them because we want to try to take out as many of the jackals as possible without utilizing a bunch of our ammo. Even though there's plenty of ammo here, it's just easier when the game gives you something to actually use it. So there are four total jackals. We've killed three so far. That last one usually hangs back. And now we're going to be, you want to try to take out these jackals as fast as you possibly can because now you can wait over here if you were able to, to wait for these two roots to come on down the elevator, toss a uh, plasma coil at them, and then just simply headshot them because they're going to be pretty low health after you take them out. Now before you get into the elevator, make sure you grab some more kinetic ammo for your needler and your sidekick if you have the same loadout as me, but if not, always just make sure you have more ammo. Uh, for whatever you're using before you move on because we want to make sure that we're always prepared to deal with any kind of engagement uh, Whenever so Kind of just riding the elevator up now notice that I am taking a needler I this kind of deviates from the previous guys where we always took like a plasma pistol and a precision weapon like for example the sidekick but in this case this game kind of reminds me of how we dealt with the brutes in Halo Reach because the brutes are unshielded most of the time, so utilizing a a needler is actually a viable strategy again. So this is kind of going to be one of those those games where we kind of don't utilize the plasma pistol very much unless we're dealing with elites. And even then, I would rather use a pulse carbine than a than than a uh, than a plasma pistol because the tracking kind of kind of sucks. But once you get inside this room, guys, you're going to be kind of just mowing down each of these uh, brutes. Like, you're going to target the brutes first, and then you're going to mop up the rest of the grunts in this room. Now, before you move on, making sure that we got all the ammo we needed. Going to pick up those spike grenades. I accidentally hit the... Uh, I tried to switch over to spikes, hit, accidentally hit down on the D-pad too early. But the main idea is to toss two spikes down, uh, down towards that little, like, column or that pillar in the middle of the room. And if you are able to do that, you clear out the rest of... You basically kill all these uh, those jackals really, really easily. Now, once you're in this room, there's going to be a lot of brutes in here, as well as quite a few uh, grunts. But you basically just want to hang back like I'm doing, utilizing my sidekick to take out the uh, brutes from afar. If they try to throw grenades or anything at you, just run around, go on back, wait for the doors to close. Your goal here is just to utilize your range. Um, kind of tried to kind of miss those few shots with the sidekick, but eventually got that brute on the very far side of the room. Now there are going to be a few brutes that are still at the very top, so up the upper deck area. So you're going to want to head up the ramp, try to take out as many of these enemies as possible. I only thought there was two more, but I miscalculated. There is one more brute, so we're going to run all the way to the back, wait for our shields to recharge, grapple up to the upper area, and then take them out with the needler. So. That's pretty much it when we're dealing with this room. Now we do want to make sure that we are prepared to go into the next room area, which is going to be dealing with this uh, plasma turret. So making sure that we have ammo, we're going to be utilizing this plasma coil, toss it at that turret. I accidentally missed and it almost died here, but thankfully I had a few spike grenades and then was able to take out that grunt on the turret. Now before moving on, making sure that we have some plasma grenades, we're going to swap over to them. Pick up the uh, fusion coil, throw it in between those two jackals, easy kill. And then there's going to be one of these brutes. Usual, uh, usually that brute will get stuck by my grenade. Um, unfortunately, he was just a little late or I was a little early. So, uh, But that's pretty much it. Now we're going to be going into that main room with Eshram. And uh, we have a cutscene coming up, so I am going to be quiet in a few moments. So I'll see you on the other side. Soon, the banished will stand victorious. Patriarchs, hear these words. Even from beyond this life, your will is served. Your forces occupy the ring. Within hours, it will be under our control. Humanity will tower before your legacy. They will burn. Their praise and defiance will be all but a memory.
Alright guys, we're in the most difficult section in the mission right now, and the way I approach this is by dividing and conquering, and I do that by utilizing a ton of grenades. So, as you can see here, I am just lobbing grenades downrange, trying to pick off any brutes that I can, because there are a lot of brutes in this room. We're going to try to see if we can split them all up, because I've noticed that the brutes, at least in this room, they like to stick together. So, I want to keep them uh, separated, that way it's easier for me to take them all out. So notice how like they're all separated from each other. Like there are a few brute miners that are around. The brute captain is now on the very bottom, uh, the very bottom deck. And now we're just going to be able to use our sidekick plus the the needler to try to take out the rest of these these brutes here. Now trying to look around for where the other brutes are. We have three total left, so we're trying to take them out. Got one. Sorry, not three, but two. Two left. So try to take this guy out using the needler. And then there's that brute captain that's still kind of bothering us. We're going to be utilizing the grapple hook to try to, to stay away from him. Picking up this fusion coil because we're going, to be uh, we're going to be throwing this at him. I think I ended up getting him with that, that fusion coil. But decided to throw a grenade here. And I got really, really lucky with that grenade. Because that grenade hit him perfectly. And I was able to get the one shot headshot to finish him off. So once you clear out those initial brutes, you go over to the stasis beam. We're going to disable that. And then the second part, the second phase of this section of the mission is really just t disabling two power couplings on each side. So there's going to be one on one side, one on the other. And the easiest way to do that is to clear out enemies above you, not below you. Because on each side, you, are, you do have an ability uh, to throw grenades or fusion coils down at the, uh, the power coupling. So... Trying to take out some of these enemies over here. See, there's a few grunts, I think, coming up. Trying to make sure that we're keeping an eye out for any more brutes, because those guys are going to be the uh, the main worry here. Got one of them. Got really, really lucky here. I I was shocked. I ended up jumping with <laughs> almost no health into a crazy situation. And it, it was not smart, but ended up getting really, really lucky there. So I would... Highly advise that you guys um, try to play that a little bit more more passive. I was just getting lucky there. But notice how I toss those spike grenades at the power coupling. You usually you want to pick up plasma grenades and throw it at them because you only use one plasma grenade rather than two spikes. Um, or you can also just throw a fusion coil. And I believe you can also shoot it with a plasma weapon and it will still over uh, and it'll still do some damage. So using that grenade, gonna take try to take out that. Uh, that grunt but lucky for us that grunt was trying to throw a grenade and it killed him and his brute buddy so that was easy peasy now for the final few enemies I'm trying to bait out these enemies here I'm trying to toss a trying to get this jackal here I'm gonna utilize the needler easy super combine whenever you see a brute a brute miner at least I'm gonna headshot that last brute and then we got a few more brutes over here on the left side I thought I almost got the super combine on him, but once you clear out the enemy, I've uh, got one more brute. He's on the upper side, but this is what I was talking about. You take a plasma grenade, toss it once, and that's easy peasy, and that will clear out this uh, this part of the mission. Now it's pretty much smooth sailing. We just go pick up a plasma, uh, uh, not a plasma, but a pulse carbine before we move over to the engine, and then I'll see you guys on the other side because we have another cutscene to sit through.
Alright guys, after getting introduced to Eshram as well as destroying the ship's engines, our goal now is simple, we just need to escape the ship. Now I would have been able to escape the ship a little earlier, but unfortunately I was getting distracted trying to kill this jackal. But once I did kill that jackal, I am now going to be heading over to the left side to deal with the grunts here. There are a total of four grunts here on the left side, two of them do charge through this door, and then the other two are waiting for you down the, uh, down the hallway a little. So we're going to take out these last two grunts. And then we're going to be picking up some kinetic ammo for our sidekick. If you don't have the sidekick, that's fine. I would still recommend picking up ammo for whatever you have before you move on. And then I was trying to see if there was any more grenades or any more uh, ammo right here. But unfortunately there wasn't. But that's completely okay because, again, we have plenty of ammo throughout this mission. Now, underneath this door, there are two grunts here. Once you take them out, in this next uh, hallway right here, there's going to be some brutes as well as some more grunts. There's going to be two grunts on the very far side. Not two grunts, but two brutes. And then there's going to be quite a few, uh, not quite a few, but like maybe two or three uh, grunts. But pretty easy to take them all out. Got a few. So there we go. Now once we've taken out all those enemies, there's going to be two more grunts in this next room. I'm going to try to take them out from afar. As you see here, got one over there already. And then the second one right over there. Now don't fall on the blue stuff. The blue stuff does hurt you, so... Just try to like bounce off of it, grapple across, and then jump down this elevator shaft that we rode up earlier on in the mission. And then once we get to the bottom, you're going to be heading on through here, pick up some more kinetic ammo for your needler or whatever you need. And once we're out here, it's a very simple path to just get to the uh, to the other side, which is pretty much just going to be filled with the enemies. Uh, but again, some explosions do help you out there. So... First things first, just follow the path that I'm taking. You could um, probably do this a little faster if you grapple slid, but um, I wanted to be safe because, like, I I don't know. Like, don't want to make it all the way to this point in the mission and, and die it because I was trying to be super, super fast. But as you can see here, just being safe, you want to make sure that you have your grapple ready at any time you under jump or over jump because if you try to... Uh, if you over jump or under jump these platforms, your grapple would be very, very useful and it could save you here. So, grappling across, gonna hop in here. I accidentally thought I got turned around, but I was actually going in the right way. Uh, wanted to go on this way, hop on down. And then once we get down here, there's gonna be some enemies on the top and uh, bottom levels. Though an explosion takes out the enemies on the top. But me trying to shoot at those fusion coils will take out the rest. So make sure that you shoot the fusion coils, not at just the uh, the grunts or the jackals or the brutes. Now, over here, there's a few more grunts. But once you take out these grunts, that is the those are the final few enemies for this mission. And that would be, once we take them out, that is going to be Worship to Reckon on Legendary Difficulty with no deaths. I hope you guys liked this video. If you guys did, please leave a like. And uh, I'll see you guys next time for Foundation. I'll see you guys next time. I'm here. Okay, give me a second. I'm coming to get you.